Hey way. guys, the Chad with Pure Media Systems. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing an install of a media room in a living room. So what we're doing here is we're installing a full 5.1.4 Dolby Atmos system with an LG OLED TV in uh, the customer's living room here. So uh, we're going to show you all the equipment we're using and then show you the process along the way. We'll zoom out here. Uh, customers uh, really likes the natural wood look. So we've got the RP8000F from Klipsch. We've got two of these in walnut. Uh, we have the RP504C uh, in walnut as well. And we even have the new episode Mega D series subwoofer, which is a dual eight inch uh, subwoofer with a 650 watt amp. It's a nice compact design. And that also comes in walnut. Uh, we're going to be putting everything into a strong 15U uh, FS series rack here. It's actually going to go in this room here. We're wiring everything into uh, the, his study here, so all of the equipment can be here as well as some of his other uh, equipment in his study. Uh, everything's going to go up into the wall in the attic. Uh, everything is going to go in here, as you can see. Um, couch is right here. Uh, we're going to be mounting the TV on the wall. Um, all We're going to have the... Uh, one tower in the corner here, the center channel, another tower here, and uh, the subwoofer. Uh, we're gonna be using the Mega D uh, wireless transmitter for the subwoofer as well. It has a receiver built into the subwoofer, so it's really nice, it automatically pairs when you plug everything into it. Uh, we're gonna be doing uh, two in-ceiling Atmos speakers here. Here's the seating position. So we're gonna have uh, two right there, and then uh, probably the other two right here. Um, and then we're also going to have two in, in wall speakers. We're going to have one right there and the other one right here. So we're going to get to work and uh, show you that process. All right, as you can see, we uh, got our laser level here to make sure the speakers are lined up. Uh, Charles is going through to make sure that everything is actually straight with the lights and everything uh, appears correct. So uh, once we have that there, we will have it perfectly lined up for uh, our speakers and we know everything's perfectly straight. All right, guys, so just a status update. You can see we've got uh, four Atmos speakers cut. One, two, uh, three, and four. Let me zoom out so you can get a little bit fuller image here. All four of those are cut. Right now, Charles is over here uh, measuring so we can line up uh, so that the uh, speaker will be even with the bottom of the wall plate over there, which is going to be uh, the perfect position just above the uh, seating, uh, ear height and the seating position there. So uh, once we get that one done, we're going to... Uh, the same on this side. Uh, on the other side of the wall here, we're currently building out the rack, uh, getting everything put in here. Like I said, this is the 15U uh, rack, uh, FS series rack from Strong. Uh, we've got the um, Grant's, I'm sorry, the uh, Denon um, 3700H, um, the wireless transmitter here. We've got a Blu-ray player and an AC Infinity uh, T8 on top of that. And then we've got the uh, Control 4 EA1, Roku Ultra, and then an Arachnus 8 port switch there. And then, of course, this is a uh, watt box here. This is just a standard uh, 400 series 10 outlet uh, watt box. All right, guys, so a status update here. We've got uh, all the speaker cables run to the location. We're getting ready to cut and terminate them and put the speakers in. Uh, we've got our TV hung over there as well. Uh, you see, we've got one, two, three, and four for the Dolby Atmos. We've got one there and the other one right here. And uh, we've done our in-wall extension over here for the power for the TV as well. Uh, so everything's going up there and it's on our articulating arm that we can bring out. Um, so uh, everything is run right over here. So we've got it uh, coming out right here. Got everything of course labeled and we're gonna run a brush plate through the wall. So uh, we've got networking that we ran to go back in the room over there, there's the laundry room where the uh, network panel is, so where everything is going to be hardwired in here into our rack. We'll show you the back of it, what we've done so far. Uh, we've got everything labeled in the lock box. We've got the uh, Denon 3700H. Uh, we've got uh, an RS-232 serial coming up and around. We're going to the Control 4 EA1 controller um, so that we've got a nice two-way feedback with that as well. Uh, this is the wireless transmitter for the Mega D subwoofer, the Roku Ultra, and of course, we've got our switch right there and fans. So the um, FS series racks do come with uh, ventilation built in. So we're going to get to work and finish putting everything up. All right, so we've got uh, all the rear speakers in, including the Atmos speakers. 
got uh, the left rear or the side left, uh, top rear left, uh, top front left, uh, top right front, and then the top right rear, and then the surround right. Uh, right now we're working on running all of the cables through along here. Of course, this is an extra wall. Um, the attic is not accessible without cutting some holes in the drywall. So uh, what we're going to be doing is putting in a quarter round all the way across here so that obviously this is wood floors, um, can't run under carpet or anything like that. So we're putting the quarter round that's a, a channel, a cable channel um, for all of the uh, cables that are running across there. So it'll look uniform all the way across. All right, guys. So this is the other side of the room. The, the living room is on the other side here. I'm going to zoom out as well. Uh, this is the uh, Strong FS series. We got this right here. Strong FS series uh, 15U rack. As you can see, we're going to go ahead and unlock the door. Um, up top here, we have the Arachnus 8 port switch. Uh, we've got the Control 4 EA1 controller. And then, of course, we have the Roku Ultra. Uh, we have the Samsung Blu ray player here. Let me zoom in a little bit. The uh, Samsung Blu ray player. The AC Infinity T8, this is with the uh, rear venting uh, fans. Pulls air off of the Denon AVRX 3700H uh, receiver and brings it out so that it can be vented up uh, through the top uh, ventilation here, which is built into the rack. This comes with uh, two, uh, two shells um, as well as the ventilation plates here. We've added another uh, two U plate there to close everything up. There's plenty of expansion here for um, future surveillance systems and uh, whole home audio amplifiers, uh, which the customer is going to do in another phase. Uh, but we wanted to have, have everything here. Customer didn't want anything, uh, any equipment in the living room. Wanted a cleaner look um, and show off the cabinet that he made and everything else in there. So uh, we've got everything done here. Of course, this uh, door can close. And it closes right there, just like that. So. Uh, we've got all that here, um, right over on the other side here, you can see we've got everything bundled up and going through a brush plate and wall that's uh, going right on the other side. All right guys, so we've got you zoomed out here. I'm going to show you an overview of everything we've done. Uh, we've actually taken, <clears throat> um, as this, we explained before, this is an exterior wall here. Uh, we'd have to cut several holes um, here in order to get all the cable to be uh, in the walls if they wanted to, uh, if we were going to try and go through the attic. Uh, trade ceiling, uh, all the framing in this wall, it's very difficult to work with. And customer opted for us to, uh, instead of trying to go outside as well, it's another option, but uh, opted for us to uh, use a basically a quarter round cable hider, uh, which you can see right here. Let me zoom in. And it's right here. It goes all the way across and you can't really see that at all. So uh, it's actually going through, we've got a brush plate behind the couch over here, going through into a rack in the adjacent room. Uh, we've mounted uh, the 65 inch LG OLED TV that the customer had already. And uh, we've got it perfectly mounted here. So the center channel is right below it. These are the RP8000F tower speakers in Walnut and the RP504C in Walnut. Uh, up above for Atmos, we have one, two, uh, three and four. Are, uh, those are the DS160 CDTs. Uh, we have one and over here, two DS160W. Uh, That's the designer series uh, in wall and in ceiling speakers. Uh, we did those. Um, it's a good way to uh, be a little more budget conscious and still provide a great uh, Eclipse experience. Uh, over here on the side, we have a new Mega D8. Uh, uh, from episode finished in walnut as well beautiful finishes on these speakers as you can see here we've got the walnut uh, finishes veneers on the uh, on the towers and the <coughs> center channel <coughs> all right so we're going to do a demo here with dolby atmos right now you're listening to where cinematic audio has been Because we are so used to hearing sound this way, we don't notice that it is merely a fraction of what its potential could be. But what if sound could be extraordinary? Again, engines are up and burning. So 
from the back, to all the way in front, arcs overhead, almost anywhere in between. Today, you will feel every connection. How does that sound? All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. As you can see here, we've done a full 5.1.4 Dolby Atmos media room in a living room. Uh, this is a nice open floor plan here, and a customer wanted a nice experience, but didn't have a dedicated room. Uh, at Pure Media Systems, we do whatever we can to make the customers happy uh, as a full turnkey custom integration company. Uh, we have um, done everything here. Everything is controlled by Control 4 in this room, and everything is wired into a rack in the adjacent room, uh, as you've seen here. So if you're wanting a system like this and you're in the Dallas area, please give us a call at 972-905-0556 or email sales at puremediasystems.com. Um, we, uh, of course, can help you out with anything that you're wanting to do, uh, whether it's full home automation, media room, networking, anything like that. Uh, we can also ship any of these product, products nationwide. So again, please call us at 972-905-0556. If you enjoy videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. Give us a big thumbs up and uh, hit that bell icon to get notified of future videos. Thanks guys.